Hello everyone and thanks for joining me on my third day in Las Vegas for this year's World Series of Poker. You can catch all the action from day one and day two in my two previous vlogs which I will link in the description. Today I am playing the 9pm $200 daily deep stack where players start with 20,000 chips and levels last 20 minutes. Quick reminder that I really appreciate your likes, comments and subscribes as they help me grow the channel. Thank you so much for your support. Now, without further ado, let's jump in. I pick up pocket jacks in the big blind at the 100 big blind level. The middle position and low jack players call. The button raises to 700. That's not going to be enough for me. I three bet to 2500 and the button is the only player to make the call. We go heads up to a flop of three, three, four with two spades. Good flop for my hand but not a board that's going to hit my 3-betting range. I want to throw in some strong hands in my checking range, so I check, and the button checks back. The turn comes the jack of spades. Boom! I make a boat. A great turn as it not only gives me a boat, but also puts a third spade on the board. If my opponent is holding a big spade in their hand, I'm going to be able to extract some value. I don't want to blow my opponent off their hand, so I make a delayed c-bet of 2500 and the button calls. Off to the river, which is the five of clubs. At this point, there's a little over 10,000 in the pot and I have just under 15,000 in my stack. I honestly don't think too hard. I have the virtual nuts and I want to get as much value as possible. So I shove. My opponent does not snap fold, which I love to see. They ask for a count, which I love to hear. And then they go well into the tank. All I'm thinking is. And after about a minute of thinking, my opponent folds. I look down at ace queen off in the low jack at the 200 big blind level. It folds to me and I open to 1000. The hijack, whose name is Jim, shout out to Jim, three bets to 4000 and alarms immediately go off in my head. I think it's probably a little too exploitable to fold a hand as strong as ace queen to a three bet preflop, but in this case, I'm 99% sure I'm behind and honestly, I'm not sure hitting an ace or a queen will help, so I make a disciplined but reluctant fold and uh, I didn't catch it on camera but Jim did show me pocket kings for the vlog, nice hand Jim. I peel king jack suited in the hijack at the 300 big blind level and the middle position player opens to 700. Looking back on this hand, I wish I would have 3 bet to put some pressure on my opponent in position but it looks like I just make the call here and both lines come along. We go four ways to a flop of five jack three with two clubs. Action checks to the middle position player who C bets for 1000. I feel like raising might be a bit of an overplay, especially with this player C betting into three other players. So I like to just call here with top pair and both blinds also make the call. Still four ways to the turn, which comes to nine of spades and this time action checks around to me. It looks like the middle position player might be giving up after taking a stab on the flop. So I'm going to switch to value mode on this board where both blinds could have a whole lot of random draws and maybe a worse top pair. I bet 4500 and only the big blind makes the call. Heads up to the river which comes the 7 of spades which puts it straight on the board and the big blind checks to me. I think the best way to go here is to bet for value and be prepared to fold to a raise. But uh, it looks like I just check, show my jack and take the pot down. Before we go into this hand, I wanted to point out that I played this tournament over a month ago and I've been playing a lot of poker since, so I pretty much forgot all about it until going through the footage. And uh, there were a few spots that were really, really hard to watch and uh, this was one of them. I get dealt ace-king suited in the big blind. There's an open to 1400 from the under the gun player and I call. No idea why. This is a must 3-bet out of position, but I guess you could justify mixing in some calls with very strong hands for deception. Anyway, we go to the flop which comes 5-4 deuce with 2 hearts. I check in flow and my opponent checks back. The turn is the queen of hearts putting 3 hearts on the board. I check again and this time my opponent bets 800. A pretty small bet. They could be taking a stab with the ace or the king of hearts. So I make the call. The river comes to 10 of hearts and on this card I bet 4000 and I have no idea what I'm thinking here. I'm not going to bullshit you and try to justify this. 
This is just a horrible bluff. I should simply check and either get to showdown or fold to a bet. Nevertheless, I get my opponent to fold and pick up the pot, but yeah, I cringed pretty hard at my preflop and river plays. Let's forget this ever happened and move along to the next hand. A couple of levels go by before I pick up ace-8 suited in the cutoff at the 600 big blind level. It folds to me and I open to 1500. The button is the only player to make the call and we go heads up to a flop of 7, jack 5 with 2 hearts. I down bet to 1200 and the button folds. I look down at king-queen off on the button at the 800 big blind level. Action folds to me. I open to 2500 and both blinds fold. I peel pocket kings in the low jack and the under the gun player, Tim, who was a lot of fun at the table, opens to 2100. The middle position player calls and I 3 bet to 4500. When action gets back on Tim, he thinks for a little bit before putting the rest of his stack in. The middle position player gets out of the way and I make the call. Tim has ace king of hearts, so a bit of an unfortunate cooler for him there. Let's go to a run out and let's hold. The flop is a safe looking 3 jack 6 with 2 clubs. Turn is the 8 of clubs, so Tim is now down to 2 outs. No berry on the river, and I'm going to take this nice pot down. Good game, Tim. Nice playing with you. Get a big hand before the break. So we're about to go on break, and I literally just make a comment like, Hey, don't play the last hand before the break. Someone always busts before the break. And, uh... I look at my cards and I've got Ace King suited in the big blind. One by one, everyone folds and gets up, but then action comes to the small blind and she raises to 3500, which is a pretty sizable raise. I contemplate what to do, thinking how crazy would it be to bust this player right after making that comment. Anyway, I decide to go with the most straightforward play and 3 bet to 12,000. Maybe she'll think I'm using the fact I made that comment to bluff her out and maybe she'll go all in. For the time being, she goes well into the tank. A minute goes by and then another minute before she finds the fold. Good fold. I'm not sure if she ever told me her name. I wanted to give her a shout out, but instead she asked me to give a shout out to her nephews. So here it is, Michael, Matthew, Shout out to you guys, your aunt made a great fold, boys can be proud. Back from break, we're at the 1500 big blind level, and after picking up pocket kings and ace king suited, I now look down at pocket queens in the big blind. It is premiums galore in this tournament, I'm being blessed with a lot of good starting hands, now it's time to put them to work and win some chips. Action folds around to the cutoff who goes all in for 23,000 and when action comes to me, I obviously snap call. The cutoff shows two black fours onto a run out. Flop comes deuce seven six rainbow. Turn is the eight of spades, bringing some extra outs to my opponent. I need to fade a four or a five on the river. It's the deuce of clubs and we pick up a nice pot. I'm fortunate for the cutoff that I wake up with a monster in the big blind. That's exactly how I busted a tournament earlier on this trip, and it's always a frustrating way to bust. Good game. I peel ace jack suited from the low jack. Action folds to me. I open to 3000. Jim in the hijack and the small blind make the call. We go three ways to a flop of five jack five rainbow. If you're a regular watcher of the vlog, you know I love to see bet these small paired boards as the preflop aggressor, whether I hit them or not. But this time, I've got the goods. I down bet to 2500 and something I wasn't quite expecting, Jim, who 3 bet me with kings earlier when I had ace queen, min clicks it back to 5000. The small blind gets out of the way and now it's on me to decide how to proceed. I am immediately discounting a 5 from Jim's hand. Since he 3 bet me with kings earlier, I would definitely expect him to 3 bet aces, kings or queens. I think he would just call with a pair between 6s and 10s, so... It looks like I'm most likely up against a hand like King Jack or Queen Jack. There's around 19,000 in the pot and Jim has about 19,000 behind. I go ahead and 3 bet all in and now Jim goes well into the tank. Yeah, he's Jack. I'm glad like you guys are alive. I don't believe you. After about 2 minutes, Jim ultimately decides on a call. I show my hand and indeed 
Jim has King Jack. Kind of a cooler for him. I'm not sure I would have found the full button either. Let's go to a run out. Turn is the Ace of Clubs, which gives me the win. River is an inconsequential 9, and I take down a nice pot here. Good game, Jim, and uh, maybe I'll run into you next year. I get dealt pocket sixes on the button. The under the gun player opens shoves for 10,000, and action folds to me. For 10 big blinds, I'm going to make the call here. Blinds get out of the way, and my opponent shows Ace King offsuit. Off to the races we go. Let's go to a run out. Flop is three queen deuce with two clubs. Turn is another queen, and the river is a six. I river the boat, win the pot, and knock another player out. Good game. I pick up pocket nines in middle position at the 2000 big blind level. There's an open to 4000 from the under the gun player. Under the gun one calls, and I make the call. We go three ways to a flop of deuce eight seven rainbow. Under the gun c bets for 2000. Under the gun one folds and action is on me. I debate between calling and raising. I think raising is the best option of the two as I can both get value and protection from my opponent's ace highs like uh, ace king, ace queen, ace jack. And uh, even if I'm up against an overpair, they might check and flow on the turn allowing me to take control of the hand. I would have preferred a raise, but in game, I call. The turn comes the ten of diamonds giving me an open ended straight draw and my opponent continues betting, this time for 5,000. Once again, I make the call. The river is... The six of clubs giving me the straight, let's go! Under the gun player slows down and checks to me. I want to try and get a hero call from an overpair, so I go for about half pot. I bet 16,000 and after a little bit of deliberation, my opponent makes the call. And we chop versus 10 nine of clubs. I was behind on the turn, so I guess I can't complain. On to the next one. I look down at pocket kings on the button and there's an open to 4500 from the under the gun player. Hell yes. Action folds to me and I 3 bet to 15,000. The blinds get out of the way and the under the gun player tanks for a little bit before folding. I guess we can't cooler another player every hand. I peel pocket jacks in the under the gun position and I open the action to 5000. The big blind player is the only one to make the call. We go heads up to a flop of king king deuce rainbow and we both check. The turn comes the eight of spades opening up a spade draw. Big blind checks again and this time I decide to go for some thin value I bet 3500 but that's too much for the big blind and they fold. A couple of levels go by and I get moved to a new table. We're now at the 4000 big blind level, and I get a warm welcome to this new table by getting dealt ace king suited in the low jack. Action folds to me, I open to 8000, and the cutoff makes the call. The player in the small blind then 3 bets all in to 24000, music to my ears. I debate between flatting and inviting the cutoff player in the hand, or isolate the player in the small blind by going all in myself. I ultimately go for the second option and 4 bet shove for a 126,000. The cutoff gets out of the way so we go heads up against the small blind who shows ace queen. The flop comes ace 610 with 2 diamonds. The turn is the king of hearts giving me 2 pair but giving my opponent a gut shot straight draw. Which we fade, the river is a brick deuce of spades and once again we pick up some chips and knock out another opponent. Good game. I pick up King Queen offsuit from under the gun and open the action to 8000. The low jack, a French player named Carl, shout out to Carl, 3 bets all in for 35,000 or just a little under 9 big blinds. Action folds back to me and I have to make the call here. Carl shows pocket 7s and on to a run out we go. No sweat for Carl as the dealer reveals a 7 in the window. The flop is 987 with 2 clubs. I'm going to need running clubs or straight cards to win this one. The turn is the four of spades, giving Carl the win. The river is the three of hearts, and for the first time, my stack takes a little hit. I look down at ace-10 offsuit in the under the gun one position at the 6,000 big blind level, and I open the action to 12,000. The low jack is the only player to make the call, so we go heads up to a flop of six deuce 10 rainbow. I down bet to 7,000 and the low jack calls. 
The turn is the three of clubs, and once again, I'm not entirely sure why, but I check. I think this was a slam dunk second barrel, so definitely a misstep there. The low jack checks back, and the river comes the queen of diamonds. Once again, action checks around, and the low jack shows king 10 suited, so I outkick them to win the pot, but I definitely missed some value on the turn. I peel king queen offsuit from the small blind, the middle position player limps, and a late position player shoves for 27,000, just over three big blinds. I want to go heads up against the all-in player and get the middle position player out of the way, so I three bet shove for 118,000. Middle position folds and we go heads up to a run out. The late position player shows ace queen and has me completely dominated. Let's see if we can find a suck out. The flop comes 4-3-7 with two clubs. I wouldn't mind seeing more clubs, but the turn is the 10 of diamonds. Can I find a king on the river? Nope, it's a break, deuce of clubs, and my stack takes another minor hit. I get dealt ace knight offsuit in the cutoff and action folds to me. With 12 big blinds in my stack, I decide to open shove for 95,000 and everybody folds. Not an action hand by any means, but chipping up is going to be crucial as we are getting close to the money bubble. I pick up King Jack offsuit in the big blind, action fools around to the small blind who completes, and once again, not sure why I don't just shove, or at the very least raise off of my 15 big blind stack, but it looks like I just call here. Thankfully, the flop comes King 5-5 five five rainbow, giving me top air. The small blind checks to me, and here I decide to check back for deception, and perhaps induce a bluff from my opponent on later streets. The turn comes a jack of spades, improving me to two pair. The small blind checks again, and this time I make a min bet of 8,000, which is too much for my opponent, and they fold. The money bubble is getting very close, and I look down at ace knight offsuit in the small blind. Action fools around to a late position player who open shoves for 58,000, just over 7 big blinds. I'm sitting on about 17 big blinds, so I suppose I could afford to fold and hope to make the money. Or, I could call with this hand, which is pretty likely to be ahead, add some chips to my stack, and have a fighting chance of making a deep run in this tournament. I came here to play, so I make the call. My opponent shows two black eights, so we are flipping. Let's head to a run out. The flop comes queen six seven with two diamonds. The turn is the four of diamonds, giving me a flush draw. I'm going to need an ace, a nine, or a diamond to win this hand. The river is a nine. Let's freaking go. I didn't catch my opponent's name, but within seconds of the river coming, he wished me good luck with the vlog, which was a super nice thing of him to say given the circumstances. So shout out to you, man. Make sure to drop a comment if you're watching this, and good game. And with this, I am happy to report that we are now in the money. Let's go. There were 225 entries in this tournament, and the top 34 players make the money. Always a nice feeling to cash, but my work is not done yet. I did not come here to make a min cash. I want to bink this or at least make a top 5 finish. So let's get back to it. I unfortunately go completely card dead for a couple of levels. And here we join the action at the 20,000 big blind level. An entire starting stack is now the big blind. I peel ace 5 off suit from under the gun. I have 10 big blinds in my stack and I rip them in. Nobody wakes up with a hand good enough to call and I pick up some much needed chips. A few hands later. I get dealt ace-10 offsuit on the button, action folds to the cutoff who jams for 120,000 or 6 big blinds. I would definitely love to add these chips to my stack, so I shove as well. The blinds get out of the way and we go heads up to a run out, and once again I'm up against pocket 8s. The flop comes 3-7-6 with 2 hearts, not much help for me. The turn is the king of spades. I'm going to need an ace or a 10 on the river or I will be left with crumbs. It's a 4 of clubs and I'm going to lose a large portion of my stack here. I am down, but not out. As long as I have chips, I can win this thing. I fold every hand for the rest of this orbit until the big blind gets to me. I would like to point out that between the big blind and the big blind ante, over half my stack is already in the pot, so I am most likely going to go for it no matter what cards I have. 
I look down at Jack Knight offsuit. It could be worse. It could be worse. Action folds around to the cutoff, who shoves for 200,000. It folds to me, and as I mentioned, I just have to go for it. I stick the rest of my chips in, and off to a run out we go. I'm up against Ace Deuce off. So I'm actually in a pretty good spot here given the circumstances. It's a 55 45. The flop comes 4 deuce 10 with 2 hearts. I still need to hit a jack or a 9. The turn is one of the best cards in the deck for me, other than a jack or a 9. It's the 8 of clubs, so I pick up a straight draw. I need a queen, a jack, a 9, or a 7 to win. The river is another 8, and I am out in 15th place out of 225 players. I cashed for 449 bucks, booking a massive profit of $249. I guess it's uh, cash for the bills and tournaments for the thrills, right? Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please hit the like button. If you've enjoyed the video and have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next videos. I still have one more vlog from this Vegas trip where I play a couple of other tournaments including another WSOP deep stack as well as my very first 2-5 cash game session at Bellagio so make sure you tune in for this one. See you next time, thanks for watching and good luck at the tables.